Hi, welcome back to my channel. Be sure to give that like button a big thumbs up and to subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys' support. Um, and let's dive into this next video. So today I'm going to be talking about um, a natural perfume company called Prosody London. They use all organic sourced ingredients. There's no aldehydes or any type of colorings or added chemicals to it. It's very clean and natural and good for your skin. I know a lot of people are concerned about the longevity of organic and natural fragrances. I do wanna say that all of these fragrances, especially from Prosody London, um, they are all last all day long. So on their website, um, they describe themselves, I'm gonna read this off my computer, um, that they're organic and all natural perfumes. They are an independent and 100% committed to a practice of sustainable plant-based perfumery that matches and exceeds the creative achievements of synthetic fragrance. This means that Prosody London is developing and elaborating an entirely new art of perfumery within limits unthinkable of, to most makers, whether mainstream or niche. While our material base is rigorous in excluding chemical novelties, our imagination and willingness to strive for new heights of beauty realized with purely natural means is untrammeled. Pure botanicals as olfactive art. So I really like their description and their mission and vision for this brand and what they stand for as a company. Um, so online, before you purchase a full bottle, since most of these fragrances are not found in your, in most stores, um, they do sell like these sample packs um, that you can try all of their fragrances before you buy it, which is really cool. And I believe they give um, a little discount code for the same amount to go towards your next purchase. The first one I'm gonna be going over is gonna be called Lism Linden after the Lism flower. So this has 25 natural and organic ingredients and the main notes are linden blossom, rose, jasmine, passion fruit, and frankincense. So this is a very, very clean, airy, soapy kind of a fragrance. It's very feminine and light and kind of like a fresh out of the shower fragrance. So I would give Lism Linden a seven out of 10 if you want a fresh soapy fragrance for warmer weather or right out of the shower kind of a smell. This is definitely a great perfume to reach for. It's very easy to wear. All right, so the next scent is Rose Rondu. This is a very fruity, woody, floral it's very sweet it's a raspberry rose accord um, which is pretty popular in the fragrance industry so if that's one of your favorite scents this is a great one to reach for it smells very natural very very like as if you're holding ripe raspberries and a fresh rose petal in your hand and like sm smelling it it smells really fresh um and sweet so I would, I could definitely see this as a date night perfume or as a signature scent. I'd probably give this an eight out of 10. It uses 24 organic ingredients in this one, including raspberry, rose, bergamot, patchouli, labdanum, frankincense, and sandalwood. The scent is called Jacinth Jonquil, you guys. I don't know what it is about this fragrance, but this is addicting. Um, I feel like this is a pretty polarizing scent though. You're either gonna absolutely love it and be addicted to it, or it's just not gonna be your favorite. This one's made from 23 organic ingredients, including jasmine, yangling, bergamot, juniper berry, and benzoin. It smells like a freshly cut bouquet of flowers, but very like sweet and addicting, like ones that you just can't stop smelling. 
Um, it has some hyacinth in it, jasmine, and the fresh jonquil. And the benzoin really gives it that boost of, I kind of smell, it smells very, very sweet. So for me, I love this scent. I would give this maybe like a nine out of 10. My boyfriend on the other hand would give it a three out of 10. So again, this one's very, depending on your taste. But yes, it smells like a richly, freshly cut bouquet of flowers with that sweet benzoin coming through. And yeah, it just, it just smells pretty. It's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. It's sweet, floral, pretty, easy to wear. Um, I feel like it's very unique. If you walked into a room with it, um, people are definitely gonna notice it. It's, it's definitely not your average perfume. All right, so next up is the fragrance called Neroli Nuance. This is a Neroli fragrance. It's made out of 25 organic ingredients, including bitter orange, Neroli, rosemary, blood orange, candlewood, labdanum, benzoin, orange blossom, and vanilla. So I feel like Neroli Nuance is slightly a bit stronger um, in um, power. It, yeah, it really does smell like you got a fresh bar of soap and like the really good smelling kind, like as if you just went to France and you know, it's a bright summer's day. It's, it's a zesty, sweet, but not too sweet kind of a scent. Um, very, very bright and cheerful can be worn by literally anyone. And yeah, it's a great fragrance. I, you could wear this spring, you could wear this fall, you could wear this summer. It could even be a signature scent. It's definitely a really good one. Um, I feel like a guy would smell great in this as long, and a girl as well. I would rate this a seven out of 10. I think it goes good on everyone. Okay, so the next fragrance is gonna be an Oud fragrance. Oud Octavo, this one is made from 20 organic ingredients, um, including black agar wood, olibanum, coconut, patchouli, labdanum, and cedar wood. This is a very, very rich, addictive, woody scent. I would go as far as to say that this is a gourmand woody scent. I think it's very sweet. It smells like you can eat it, but at the same time, it also smells like freshly cut wood. It's a very interesting combo. I think this one smells amazing. Um, I, I would also say this one's more of a polarizing scent as well. You're either gonna love it or you hate it. I will say, personally, I'm not a huge fan of ouds or woody fragrances as much. Um, I especially don't like the strong, more Middle Eastern sense of those. And I think Oud Octavo is very tame and very sweet and rich in a way that it doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't smell like an obtrusive men's cologne. Like I could see a woman wearing this and it coming off as very sweet and gourmand, but it also does have that, that fresh woody scent. This would be a really pretty fragrance to wear in the winter as well, but it could be worn at virtually all seasons of either sex. So this one's a really good one. Out of 10, hmm, I'll probably give it like a 7.5 or an eight. I think it smells really nice and it could be worn in very different occasions. And all right, so the next fragrance is called Mocha Mascari, you guys. This one was my most anticipated fragrance um, of all the perfumes that I got in these sample boxes. This one is described as an evocative and enigmatic and ambery chocolatey fragrance. And it has fresh notes of mango, jasmine, lavender, black agar wood, and sandalwood. It's supposed to be a seductive chocolatey creamy latte woody and sophisticated that sounds like everything i love and more you guys this was the most disappointing fragrance 
It smells like I had just opened up a spice cabinet. It does not smell chocolatey. It does not smell gourmand. It does not even smell sweet. It smells like spices. I would describe mocha muscari as like an old, really old, dusty spice cabinet. I would definitely not recommend this one, but it is made out of 21 organic ingredients. It has linden blossom, rose, jasmine, coriander, angelica root, and frankincense. It just smells awful. I can't imagine this smelling it on anyone. It does have kind of a smoky scent at the end of it, but it just smells old and just not right. I would give this a one out of 10. And the one is just because it has organic clean ingredients. Yeah, I wouldn't, even if I had these spices, I wouldn't even want to eat them. Like it's just, it's just not good. Yeah, it's like an old dusty spice cabinet kind of a scent. All right, so I saved the best for last. This one is called Lantern Reed. Um, I really like the description they have on it for the website, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read that to you. So Lantern Reed is inspired by summer nights in the countryside of East Asia. And so it says on here, it says, imagine a riverbank at sunset. Fireflies begin to glow gently as they wander among the reeds and grasses. Warmth hangs in the air. From across the water, a flute is heard, a solitary tone seeming to gather the instant in a cocoon of peace and repose. Your evening begins. So Lantern Reed opens up with a citrus note of grapefruit, and then it develops into its heart note of peony flowers, which is very soft and sweet and gentle and then it has a base note of a really beautiful velvety vetiver this fragrance was both my favorite and my boyfriend's favorite i would rate this fragrance a nine out of ten i think this would be a wonderful signature scent it would be great for a first date fragrance so lantern reed is comprised of organic ingredients of myrtle grapefruit, magnolia leaf, lemongrass, vetiver, orris, vanilla, and myrrh. And I really would say that this does smell like, like citrus and peony flowers on like a breakfast table. Just really beautiful, but that vetiver base really is what drives the richness. And my goodness, this is such a pretty, pretty scent. Overall, I think Prosody London is doing amazing. Um, it's really hard to come across ingredients in the fragrance industry that are organic, natural, with no synthetic aldehydes or anything um, headache inducing. They really use the highest quality ingredients in almost a lot of the fragrances, even some of these niche fragrances that charge like $500 a bottle, um, they just don't live up to this standard of quality. Like this is pretty amazing. Um, each bottle retails for, the 50 milliliters retail for $145, which is also very affordable, especially for this quality. I highly, highly recommend you guys to check out this brand. Um, all these fragrances are just exceptional and um, yeah let me know if you guys want me to review the cologne if I had to recommend um, one fragrance from all the perfumes from Prosody London that I had reviewed today I would definitely recommend Lantern Reed I think this one is definitely just phenomenal you could wear this for date night. You could wear this as a signature scent. You could wear this as your spring and summer fragrance. You could wear this in the fall. You could, like, this smells so good to both men and women. Like, this is addicting. Like, this is really a showstopper. Um, yeah, that would definitely be my recommendation. Although all of them are great. I would suggest getting these sample boxes before you go ahead and buy one of the fragrances just simply because I feel like a lot of the times the descriptions and notes that are 
put on the website are mixed so differently and sometimes you might like it in one fragrance you might not like it in another um these smelled way better than i thought the description smelled like and obviously my most anticipated scent smelled like a dirty old spice cabinet so um, I definitely recommend these sample fragrances. I think it's really convenient and nice that you know you have that option and then you can go ahead and test it on your skin and see what really works with your body chemistry before going ahead and buying a full bottle. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more of this content and you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.